Good morning. Let's make this love last till Valentine's. Let's spend this night together. Let the fire burn inside our hearts. I have very high Let's expectations. <laughs> all the pleasure. Now that the rain is slowly. Welcome to Paris, guys! Holy fuck, Opa! You can actually see the Eiffel Tower from our room. We've been here since yesterday and I didn't know that. Look at that! Oh shit! That's so cool! Yeah, that's cute. Bonjour! Bonsoir! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're learning some little bit of French. Well, I am, and Jake is just repeating. <laughs> we had the most amazing couple of days in Denmark. Well, I think, well, how much did we have? Like seven days, eight days or something? And those videos, they're already up on the channel. So if you haven't already seen them, I really recommend you to do so. We visited my family for the second time with Jake, which is so special. But now it's Paris time. Now it's time to show a different European side. Jake has never been to Europe apart from Denmark, so this is very exciting. And also, we have never, as a couple, I think, traveled to a country that wasn't one of our home countries. So we're both foreigners, which is a weird feeling right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we're heading out. Um, I think our travel style is a little bit neighborhood by neighborhood and then just getting lost. But we're starting off at Le Orangerie, because that's the thing that I really wanted to see. And then we are spending the day in... Le Marais. Maraya. <laughs> this is the good thing about the way of traveling that we like. We have absolutely no idea where we are right now, but we're just walking around seeing a lot of beautiful things, getting lost. <laughs> Look at me, I'm basically French now. <laughs> Did you say merci beaucoup? Not merci beaucoup. <laughs> merci beaucoup. Okay. You can trash me in the comments, it's okay. <laughs> but I think you should trash Jake more. He just said merci poupou. <laughs> you sound like you know you sound like Joey in friends. Do, do you remember that when Phoebe was teaching him French? Oh, yeah, and right. she was like, eh, je ma pelle. And he was like, oui, bu, bu, bu. <laughs> je, je ma ma pelle. Pelle. Great. Okay, faster. Je, je ma ma pelle. Pelle. Je ma pelle. Oui, bu, bu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's you now. <laughs> okay, let's sit down on the bench. Have the ice cream. Oh no, it's <laughs> so Paris a couple of times but I, I don't recall ever being there I mean I think I would have remembered um, I think last time I was here was maybe like seven years ago on a school trip or something but that was beautiful it was just such a shame there's so many people because it would be nice to just sit and look at it all with no people but that's maybe just a luxury problem mm. and I could get in for free <laughs> Because I'm bit, I'm under 25 and I have the EU passport, but Jakey had to pay. 
You're both an old man and not a new citizen. Yeah, it hurts. <laughs> that was funny. I had a good laugh. <laughs> okay. Let's get the one with the really full camera. We're gonna take a lime to go to Le Maria and have some lunch. I'm not gonna film that. Safety first. <laughs> We were both agreeing on the fact that we were craving pizza and pasta and then we found Italy. Maybe it's not very authentic, but it has to be. It can only be authentic in Europe, can it not? It's actually very good. You can taste the pasta, it's really fresh. Mm. I could never. I'm sorry, this is so good. But he made it? Yeah. Oh! <gasps> well, he's uh, picking, he's picking the flowers. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so impressive. Is there is there one thing you can recommend? All of them. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I haven't uh, tried them myself. Oh, but okay. Many people come and they say, oh yes, it works. It was good for this and that. actually a vibe. Yeah. Wait, this is actually really cute. What do you think about like something like this out in the open and then with a blazer over? Isn't Korea too conservative to a I don't that? care about how Korea is. That's very good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Essential oil store. Yeah. I'm so happy we just accidentally stumbled upon it, and you guys know it's like exactly my thing. I got the Freedom one. Apparently, he makes them himself. He goes out and plucks the little flowers, and then he, I don't know, alchemizes it into this little spray. I chose the one that said like for spiritual liberty and freedom of mind. Let's see how... Because you couldn't really smell them, so I don't really know how they smell. Yeah. Oh, this is like a minty. Yeah, that's the smell of freedom? Apparently. <laughs> okay. This kind of thing only works if you set the intention with it. So I'm going to use it for that. I just thought it was nice to like support a little local shop like that. Yeah. But cheers! Monsieur 
See you tomorrow. Good morning. Today um, we're heading to what I think might be the best croissant in Paris. At least one of you Parisian lovely angels sent me this recommendation of a guy who does food reviews and such and he says he's on the mission to find the best croissant in Paris and so far it was this place that was number one. It's up here. I forgot what it's called, but I'll show you when we're there. Um, it has to be a must, right? To go get a croissant. A croissant. Jake approves. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know why this man is insisting on walking on the streets all the time. <laughs> very high expectations. <laughs> actually already cheated a little bit. I had a bite because I was filming a real, a really cringy reel. I had to. Oh. <laughs> I'm just nodding. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. This is like on the heavier side, lots of butter and such. And that's why I wanted to go here because that's what the guy said. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is seriously something else. I really recommend it. They actually had a lot of other stuff in there as well, which I kind of wanted to try, but I felt like first time you have to just have the croissant. The croissant. I think we are going to take the lime, the scooter, and then we're gonna head to Monmata to spend the day there. Fantastic! Ah, uh, muy bien. It's wrong language. <laughs> Ta bien. Ta bien. Yesterday, Jake's like sense of direction or like intuition for direction was so good. We ended up in all of the cool shops, even though we didn't know where we were going. So I'm gonna let you do the same, baby. So baby, we're going to Sacré-Cœur and uh, we're going up those stairs. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I didn't check, but I'm pretty sure we walked around like 50,000 steps yesterday. It was yeah. absolutely ridiculous. And Jake, he got a huge blister under his foot. So he's struggling a little bit. But we got him some compete, it should be okay. Is this gorgeous? 
gorgeous. I'm really loving it. I think this is like a must-see view spot if you don't want to go up into the Eiffel Tower. How do you say the word green in French? I have no idea. Beautiful, eh? Uh, beautiful. Oh, that was Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie. Oopsie. Sorry, don't come for us. <laughs> <laughs> and banana. the romantic music.